What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with a different kind of video today. So in today's video I wanted to talk about a little bit of a controversial topic and talk about why I created a Blender channel on YouTube. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first things first, I know this is a SketchUp channel and the first thought you might have is, is he going to stop creating SketchUp tutorials? Is he going to stop working in SketchUp and transition over to Blender? And the answer is absolutely not. I love SketchUp and I'm going to keep working in it. I actually think there's some really good opportunities if you learn both of them for them to complement each other. So for example, um, one thing that SketchUp does not have is any kind of built-in rendering engine. Well, Blender is this free program out there that has amazing rendering and animation options. And I think that um, there needs to be a good workflow to get models from SketchUp into Blender in order to use that rendering engine. That's actually a free rendering engine that you can use instead of having to go out and pay for something. So that's just one example of a way that I think that SketchUp and Blender can complement each other rather than compete with each other. And so I did want to do just a short list of five reasons why I created a Blender channel. I may actually make a comparison video if you guys are interested in the future. Um, but reason number one is I wanted to grow as a 3D modeler, not only as a modeler, but also as an instructor. And so in order to do that, I wanted to kind of step, I, I wanted to kind of learn some of the principles behind this other complex software um, and learn both how those things work because I found they've made me better as a SketchUp modeler, um, but also so that I could become a better teacher for you guys. So reason number two, and we've talked about this a little bit, is Blender is free. So you really don't lose anything by downloading it at all. In fact, um, the fact that you can download this and it's got... It's got features that compete with giant programs like Autodesk's Maya and um, 3ds Max and other big programs like that all for free is amazing. And I think that it's a really good idea for us as 3D modelers to at least learn something about a program like that um, in order to be able to do more and expand our skills. So reason three, we've talked about a little bit, but rendering in both Cycles and Eevee. So there are a lot of rendering programs right now um, that plug into SketchUp that can be kind of expensive and also they're not necessarily always as flexible as we want them to be. Um, I would say the rendering program inside of Blender, while it is complex, is probably as flexible as anything that I've seen. You can really use it to do anything. They've created some amazing stuff like full length movies using Blender. And so I think it's a really good idea to understand how those work um, because if you can figure out how those work and also how to integrate your SketchUp models, you can create great renderings inside of Blender from things you've modeled in SketchUp. So reason four, the animation options are ridiculous inside of Blender. Like I said, they have created full length movies in the program. And um, what while there are great options inside of SketchUp like Animator in order to animate things moving, there's nothing really procedural or anything like that. So again, if you can figure out a way to integrate your geometry that you create in SketchUp with animations created inside of Blender, that would be an amazing thing. And so that's something I'm super interested in. I wanna dive deeper in and we will talk about that both on this channel and also on that channel. And then reason five is all the different kinds of simulation options that you have. I mean, there's just, there's there's no options for fluid simulation or smoke simulation or anything like that inside of SketchUp, nor do I think there should be um, because I think they're very complex and they require a different um, level of learning and also just level of um, need. So I don't necessarily think that they should be in SketchUp, but um, you've got a program that can simulate all of those things, meaning you have more options moving forward. So I am super excited to dive into those as well. So there are other reasons that I'm doing this, but I think those are five great reasons for why I'm creating that channel and I'm really excited over the coming weeks to create some videos um, kind of crossover videos with things that you can do with SketchUp and also things that you can do with your SketchUp models inside of Blender. So if you're interested in checking out the Blender channel I will link to that in the notes down below. That channel's name is The CG Essentials. You should be able to go to youtube.com slash The CG Essentials. So The CG Essentials if you want to check it out.
So the SketchUp channel is not going to be going anywhere. I actually have a lot of content planned for this channel and I'm super excited about that. Um, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, A, about um, the Blender channel and learning Blender, but B, some things that you'd like to see on this channel about SketchUp. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.